Hello ladies and gentlemen, guys and ghouls, my name's Kevin and welcome to my channel, The Art of Horror. Just when I thought horror movies couldn't get any creepier, they absolutely do. Do you remember this line from Return of the Living Dead? Fine in the warehouse Frank, business. Where Good. do you get all these skeletons from? Oh, they come from India. Oh. India? Here's a small segment of an interview with Tom Savini on a show called Livewire when they were promoting Creep Show. Keep in mind, this is a kids' show as well, from the 1980s. Let's have a volunteer here. Let's pick hey. out... Hey, Chris, come on. Up. Okay, we got Chris here. I want to shake hands with him, Chris, and I'll Chris. open the hand. When Chris grabs it, close it. There you go. Not too hard, Chris. This is a oh. real skeleton. <laughs> He's really fresh. This is a real skeleton? It's a real skeleton imported from <laughs> India. The boxes the, these things come in, they have to be labeled as to uh, the origin, and every... I had three or four skeletons ordered from, from this company in North Carolina. When they arrived, the boxes all said, shipped from India. So is this some sort of dark truth about horror movies that I never knew about? I did some research to find out if any other horror movies used real human skeletons. And was quite amazed to find out quite a few other horror movies have used or there are rumours of using real human skeletons in the filming of these movies. It seems it was common practice among horror filmmakers to use real human skeletons. In the film Poltergeist from 1982, when actress Jo Beth Williams slid down into the muddy pool, she knew that dark murky water contained a few surprises. As she struggled to climb out, some skeletons emerged from the sludge, their faces grinning at her with empty dark sockets. It's a terrifying scene and one that holds a dark secret. Back in 1981, rubber was expensive and casting a moulding took a fair bit of time. The prop guys found it was far cheaper, quicker and easier just to buy a bunch of real skeletons, add a little gore to them and throw them in the pool. And this is exactly what they did. The gruesome creations that pop up from the water were real skeletons. In Dawn of the Dead from 1978, Tom Savini was working on the film when he spotted an old medical training skeleton. The special effects makeup artist covered it in latex and cereal and left it curled in a corner for one of the movie's scenes. In Dawn of the Dead's DVD commentary, Tom claims that the local police spotted the rotting corpse and became convinced it was a real body. They took it away and buried it in an unmarked grave. Tom jokingly claimed that buried out there somewhere is a prop from the film. However, that's not the whole story. You see, it turns out that the police were right. The prop sat on display in the back of a costume store in a glass-topped coffin until the store closed some years later. Another store owner bought out all the stock in the early 1980s and upon finding the skeleton, put it in her store's window in a completely different town. It would seem that the skeleton caused a bit of a stir as the local police came knocking and took the corpse away for examination. The film prop then underwent an autopsy the surprising result was that the medical skeleton, film prop, was actually the bones of a 35-year-old woman who apparently died of natural causes around a century earlier. The body was eventually buried in an unmarked grave. But in 2014, a group of diehard fans were trying to raise money for a proper headstone for the world's oldest working actress. Savini still claims that it was just a prop. So for today's piece, I drew for you Raul, the creepy host from the movie Creep Show, who, as mentioned in the clip earlier, is actually a real skeleton from India. As we all know, the skeletons from India all have perfect teeth. This quick charcoal sketch took me about 45 minutes to an hour. If you want to see the whole Tom Savini live wire interview, it's available on Fangoria's Facebook page. I'll leave a link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to my channel, The Art of Horror, and you'd like to see more videos like this from me, please feel free to subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been Kevin for The Art of Horror. Goodbye for now.